I am going to show you a model of the solar system. Everything is to the correct scale. So we're going to start with the sun, which is an incredibly bright object at one end of the hallway. This is a 750 watt light bulb and the sun is about the size of a golf ball. So there we go, there's a golf ball. And we're going to walk away from the sun and look at the planets. The first planet we come to is Mercury and it is tiny. Uh, so there's a tiny dot somewhere there. That dot is about the size of Mercury, 0 0.01 millimeters. Venus is pretty much the same thing, 0 0.02 millimeters, okay? So we can keep going on, and now we've gotten to Earth. So here's Earth. This is where seven billion people live. There's a little dot there. And the furthest we've ever gotten to is about one grain of rice away from that tiny dot. So that's not very far. So we have not actually gotten very far anywhere in the solar system, okay? Um, and that is quite remarkable. The only people who have gone to the moon, and remember the moon is approximately where my fingernail is, so they've gone this far from here to here. There's 12 people, all of them were Americans, all of them were white men, and that was done in the 70s. Okay, let's keep going. Here's Mars. Mars would be a slightly smaller dot, smaller than the Earth. And then we get to the asteroids. So the asteroids are just beyond Mars. The asteroids are tiny, tiny specks of dust, so small we don't really even see them. Like it's impossible to make a dot that small. Now the asteroids continue for quite a while. So we are going out here to see the end of the asteroid belts. Here's where the asteroids end, okay? at 13 meters. Beyond the asteroids, we come to the giant planets. Here's Jupiter. Jupiter is actually big enough, it's the size of a little pin. Okay, three millimeters in diameter. Uh, let's just see where the sun is from here. Okay, and there is the sun at the end of the hallway. And remember, right up close to the sun are the inner planets. Okay, so from Jupiter, which is here, we will walk on to find Saturn. Saturn is just past the end of this measuring tape. So at the end of the measuring tape is Saturn, and you might even be able to see a little line indicating that it has rings. Beyond Saturn, we're going to come to Uranus, also known as Uranus. And it is far, like really, really far. Here we are. It is a dot, a dot we can see. It's one millimeter, okay? We can see that little dot from the Earth with a telescope. I think, yeah, you're not able to, naked, you cannot see it with a naked eye, but with a telescope you can. You can see that little dot because the sun is so bright there is the sun at the bottom. The emergency lights are on in the ceiling for some reason, but anyway, the sun is way, way, way down there. And space is so black that you can see these planets out here. Neptune is next. And let's see where we get to with Neptune. Whoa, light came on. Here is Neptune. Neptune is about the same size as Uranus and is 97 meters away on the scale. We're at the very end of the hallway. Beyond that is Pluto. Pluto is going to be, that number is wrong for Pluto. Pluto is going to be out on the football field somewhere. The nearest star is a thousand kilometers away from where we are right now. The center of the Milky Way is 56 million kilometers from where we are, okay? So the Milky Way is enormous, and the nearest star is incredibly far away. 
We're going to go back quickly past Neptune all the way back down to the sun and traveling through space and time. Here we come to Uranus zooming on down Here's Saturn, passing Saturn, and coming up to Jupiter. Okay, so we have gone most of the way to the Sun by now. Inside Jupiter, we have the asteroid starting here, and an asteroids end here. And guess what? Here is Mars. And there, the next paper is Earth. Okay, you can see Mars, Earth, and you can see the paper for Venus as well. Okay, uh, you can see that it's going to be incredibly hard for people to even get from Earth to the Mars. It's quite far away since we've only made it to the Moon. Getting to somewhere like Saturn is basically totally impossible. The next star is also completely impossible. So let's find our tiny little dot which we call home. There it is in the center of the page and seven million people are there and it's a lovely planet that we are slowly messing up. I hope this was really interesting and gives you a sense of how gigantically huge space is and everything is so so far apart.